You're here. Oh, you have returned. I heard something rather interesting from Kichi. The American consulate is in a state of panic. It seems they're bracing for an attack from a group intent on taking Mr. Harris's life. A sympathetic soul must have let their tongue slip. Perhaps in the confusion, you could seize the opportunity to close in on Mr. Harris. I am sure the bodyguard with a demon claw will appear soon enough. His fate is of no real concern to me. If he were to die, another will soon take his place. I'll arrange to get you into the consulate. You'll join me there, won't you? I will help you, but I have a request. I want you to find out who is threatening Mr. Harris's life, and I want to know who's in charge. So, how about it? Do we have a deal? That is a relief. Here's hoping you will find the samurai you are looking for. I'll alert you when the moment is right. This is your chance. You'd better move now. I know you're looking for your samurai, but don't forget to find out who is targeting Mr. Harris. I shall await your return. Go! 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 Yeah! Isn't there another way?
Mantra, thanks for your patronage. Remain as sharp as ever. Alive and well. That is a relief. You know, it seems you really were born lucky. Not that everything went smoothly, of course. Harris got away, I understand. Did you find that samurai who came on the black ship? You and that samurai must have a complicated history. The Americans were ready for us. It's almost as if someone tipped him off. Stop that nonsense. I know how you feel. 
But this wild speculation helps no one. The treaty will be signed, no doubt. We must accept that. But we will not give up. The Red Demon and the Americans may be looking for you. But we will aid you. We're in the same boat now, after all. Well, until next time. In spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. <laughs>